Hello, welcome ladies and gentlemen to episode number, I'm going to say six, of Terra Firma Craft Reloaded, with Dankenstein. And here we are after our workshopping from last episode, and check it out, I got a gift sack. Let's open her up. A doll. Actually, that's pretty cool. Could we put it somewhere? Okay, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. And so the plan for today's episode is to build ourselves a mighty fine workshop. I want five forges and we're going to start pushing towards a triple bloomery, but we will need to do some mining at some point. So we shall have a look at that too. But as it's night time, we need to head over to our bed, take a scary nighttime walk down a mountainside. And I think one of the first projects to build our our sort of workshop up and one of the first things we can do to make it really functional is build ourselves a bridge because all of this running across rough and ready mountainside isn't really cutting the mustard for me and so while we're out and about chopping wood um it occurred to me that our farm might be ready in fact it doesn't seem particularly ready now how do the flax work do we just break it yeah we do okay that's easy enough we can all get along with that and we can replant our five, I guess. He's fine. Although, those might not grow. Because it uses up nutrients and there's different nutrient types in the soil. We'll take our beans. The jute is all done. So we'll definitely take all that. Oh, wait, hold on. I remember what we can do with the scythe. I'd forgotten about this. But you get a... Oh, no, look, a load of it popped off. Oh, they're underneath the tree. I bet that's why. Well, it means you've got to go, my friend. Oh, let's get let's get some saplings while we're here though, eh? All right, cool. So yeah, in summary, we got quite a bit of food, and we can come back for the grain in due course. So that's not too bad. Let's see if we can hook up. So we'll put our seeds in that one. Let's see if we can hook up some more saplings out of these two trees. Rinse these, and then we can choose what woods we like for our for our bridge project. Give these a little chop in as well. Boom. Three chops and we are done over here. All right, so I've just got back here now and I've been staring at this for a little while and trying to work out how I want to play it. And so I have a bit of an idea. I've dug out a few trees here and I was thinking we basically we just make a pathway that goes through here. But I did also want to keep this as a big open glass window and I don't really want to have a doorway there but but maybe that's what we have to do and so then I thought actually what we need is we need like wooden supports so this probably will end up going all the way down so we're going to end up using an awful lot of pine logs here I think pine logs are what I want to go for but then again the spruce maybe actually looks nicer I think it does so yeah, so I'm leaning towards this colour scheme right here. So let's just play with it a little bit here and then we'll get to building with a montage. But it's gonna it's gonna look kinda like something like this with these planks and then we're gonna have Where's the saw? There we are. We're gonna have a load of these making up our bridge. Something Something like that. Yeah, it's cool. I think it is. I think it's nicer than using the, the pine logs. These ones just have a little bit of red in them and they're a bit more... A bit, bit more saucy. A bit more spicy. Spicy on the eyes. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that. It's going to look... These, these um, walkways will look really beefy, but once we've built up the actual buildings, it'll be great.
Good morning and welcome back. It's quite a busy montage that. that probably about a half hour, 45 minutes or so. Took me longer than I thought it would to, to make this pathway, but we've made it and it's rough around the edges for sure. Like what I'd like to do is come and make some sort of dirt path that leads up the hill here and around then to our staircase down the side of the mountain here. But as you can see, it's got a nice flow to it. And I just sort of speckled the uh, the bricks onto the floor here, which I think actually looks, looks all right. We'll go with it for now anyway. I think I'll probably end up replacing this with some sort of more slick looking decking. Same goes for over here. But for now, I just thought we'd do some of the fun stuff uh, together. I made a new pick and a new pro pick because I could see them running out soon and we, we are going to need to do quite a lot more mining before we're ready to make our bloomery blocks. The bloomery is going to be eight double sheets. Now each double sheet is four ingots so that's 32. So we're looking at a whopping so, uh, 96. 96 ingots of bronze to make our triple bloomery. So if we can get to that stage by the end of this episode, then I'll eat my hat. But that's what we're going to try and do. So we're going to bang down a quadruple forge right here. Um, in the first series, we went with just a... How many did we have? A triple in the last series, I believe. So let's go quadruple this time and I'm thinking it'd be this sort of formation need to get our shovel out actually because they need to all be I have two two sort of in the back row was my theory you know you can see this is starting to take some semblance of of shape it's pretty cool I don't know I mean I'm oh Ooh, do I want to leave a little corner? Maybe I do. We're going to have to destroy this one. Oh, wow. They've made it so it doesn't take absolutely forever to destroy a chiseled block. That's nice. And, yeah, I think this is cool. This will work. So that, that actually looks pretty cool just with steps there. And then we've got this natural, like, we can run up onto it. and see, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. I like that. Starting to look like a bit too much of the same brick, isn't it, actually? Okay, well, we'll leave it like that for now, and we'll we'll switch it up at a later date. But we've got we've kind of got the f functioning quadruple forge there, which is sweet. All right, all right. Do you want to see some uh, some fighting action here? This guy's going to rinse me, but I want to get to that great wood tree. It's the wrong type of damage to halberd, isn't it, for that? But anyway, we we got him. So we're going to bang down this great wood tree now. It probably is going to do an absolute number on this axe. It might even destroy it. I hope not. Okay, yeah, it took like... Wow! It took like half of the durability of the axe, basically. Not quite half. A decent, a decent amount. But this is going to be enough to set up a charcoal pit here. Which is what we're going to do right now. I mean, it just drops absolutely tons all over the place amazing I think we could even should we make it a three by three we're probably getting quite risky here staying out this late I can see there's mobs all around us but let's just do it we are on low health already as well but it wouldn't be a Dankenstein video if there weren't unnecessary risks and overextending and poor decision making throughout it just wouldn't be the same without it Okay, and then you simply cover it up with a with any block that isn't going to sort of cave in, in case things do fall through. And then let's make oh we've got torches out here. So then we chuck a torch on top, and as soon as it catches, unless they've changed this, we cover it. Make some new torches. In fact, we may as well take these with us at this point. We've got more wood to collect still from around here. Looks like we've got most of it, if not all of it now. 
grab these. And by the time we come back in the morning, that will all be done. So now all we've got to do is get home alive. Easier said than done, that. <laughs> okay, so there it is over there. I'm pretty sure it's going to need a little bit longer to uh, to finish. We did manage to make it home alive. But all I'm going to try and do is just get rid of this floating bit here. Now, I'm not entirely sure the best way to play this. We're just going to jump over to it. <laughs> I think we're going to take out... Uh, and then, where's where's like the, the least fall? I don't think that fall will kill us if it caves in on us. So let's... <laughs> Ouch! Do we do we keep going? Do we keep trying to destroy this thing? Probably not if it's going to cave in more of this whole thing. This is a disaster. I guess it's not the worst thing. It just makes the top look more jagged. Did it destroy any of our stuff? Like, did we lose ingots over it? It looks like we lost iron ingots. And our... Anvils? No, okay. We didn't lose our anvils. At least we didn't lose our... Bronze one, at least. It looks like we did lose our copper one. Or else it got flung... Oh, no, it got flung down there. <laughs> I did not expect it to affect bricks that... It, like, blocks that it wasn't touching. I didn't expect that at all. But that was a huge cave-in. So we're going to have to clear all this up. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to clear all this up. We need to put our bronze anvil down and pick up the other one. The, the copper one down here. So at least we can smelt that back into copper later. Man, oh man, I was not expecting that at all. Well, you learn something new every day. That's astonishing. That is an astonishing result. A bit of a tragic one, to be honest. I really, I did quite like the shape of it all. Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We just got a lot of cobblestone to dig up here, which is going to be really annoying. Like, really, really time-consuming, all of this. Let's get to it. Okay, right, so <laughs> that took a long time, <laughs> but we have our charcoal now. Look, our stairs did get destroyed. I think those were the one blocks that actually seemed to not survive the cave-in, was the stair blocks, the ones I'd chiseled. Oops. Ho-hum. Right, yes, that's how we had it. And I've cleared up most of the mess, and to be honest, we've kept most of the shape. So I guess the only other th way we can deal with how weird that looks is by actually connecting the dots. So we'll have to go and mine some smooth 
schist from somewhere else. Scheist. Schist. Schist from somewhere else and connect them. And then we'll build a big pillar that kind of supports the whole thing. Obviously this, you know, this staircase needs work. So the whole area needs needs ongoing polishing. But we seem to have recovered from that disaster, which is the main thing. So let's eat some onion. And we're going to set up our five forges. You know, quad forge. The quad, we shall call it. So this is going to use up most of the charcoal we made, but I believe we can then use the coal that we mined to actually... Uh, fuel them and we probably won't be using five to begin with anyway but we just need to light them like this right there we go I know my problem I need to get rid of these bricks here like so then that will light with it there we go but these will all burn out just like this one has but they'll forever now be accessible like that and we can chuck coal in and, and what else and so now for this uh, sort of next bit really we need to go out on a cassiterite and copper mission and if we are to collect 96 ingots the easiest th the easiest way to think of this is 100 ingots all right cool so in order to feel like we are making progress quickly i just came to the source of cassiterite that i knew was close by and we did just a little dig down, a little tunnel along, and we found one piece in its normal quality. So I'm hoping, here it is, this is kind of the beginning. But I'm a bit nervous about cave-ins here, so we're just going to open this up a little. I think we, we should be able to hit the uh, the 40 pieces we need in no time. So that's progress. Oh, yes. What a joy. What a joy it is when you just find the the juicy center, so to speak. All right, yo, so just off from that cassita right there, in fact, we can turn that waypoint off now. The cassita right was over here, whatever. We've, we've just explored it to the east slightly to kind of join back round with this area here. Base is like, where's our base? There. So we're really not far from home, actually. We're just the other side of the farms. And this area is quite interesting because I found a couple of pieces of tetrahedrite, but I think there's also, is that going to be platinum over there? There's a, some piece of something on the floor, and there's some ore showing there as well. But I'm hoping we'll be able to find a source of tetrahedrite underground here as well, um, which is, of course, a, a form of copper. Yeah, I think that might be, well, that looks like platinum, but I'm not sure that does. Okay, it's poor platinum. I think platinum's fairly useless. Anyway, look, this goes down as a cave system as well. I guess it's... The annoying thing is this source of platinum is probably going to make it quite hard. And the amber to locate the tetrahedrite, which is probably also quite deep underground because I'm pretty sure tetrahedrite does not spawn in conglomerate. But we are getting lower. It was more like over here that we found the piece. I mean, this might be a mistake. This might be a profound mistake. Traces of amber. I'm not getting a sniff of the tetrahedra. Let's let's take on that one skelly and hopefully there's no more. Okay, there's quite a few things down there. We, we're going to probably, probably have to bail on this. It would be nice to find just one more piece of that tetrahedrite just to kind of support my vague memory of where it was. But I came, I rinsed that orange tree, I walked through here. I believe they were just here. Looks like a lot, a little bit of our digging has been done for us here. Should we go down there? Let's. Let's use some ladders at this point. So it's one in there enough. It is. That's actually amazing. You know, we'd stand on top of that and then we'd start to smart move from here. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay, well, that's good. All right, so this is amazing. Look, we've hardly come down any, any distance at all and we're getting a very large sample of tetrahedrite on the block directly below us. So this is, this is good news. This is very good news. I'm, I mean, <laughs> rinsing the ladders I've worked out. I can even do them every other 
two like this. It's, so we can, we've definitely got enough ladders for this. So we just keep digging at this point. And if it's another poor quality copper vein, I'm going to be fuming. Okay, and not much further again. And we've hit some schist, which I believe will house some tetrahedrite for us. We're still getting very large. Oh, wow. Check it out, like, it's suddenly turning into traces down here. we just got to kind of work out at what height it changes, you know? Okay, so I'm standing right now at the point where it goes from being a very large to a large, and that's Y124. And then right at the bottom here, where I've marked these, is exactly the point where it goes from very large to large going down. And that's 97. So halfway between Y24 and 97, we are looking at something around 110. Boom, baby. It is not of a very high quality, but it's something. It's, it's medium quality, and we're, we're going to try and take some. Take some here, I think. I've only found the one piece so far. But now we can at least follow our nose. We're quite far away from where we dug in. So it might be time to um, think about running up and getting some supports, actually. All right, cool. So look, that's where the first piece was. I've set up a cheeky support thing. Started digging in this direction and... Oh yeah, this is looking promising. It's kind of hard to see because it's all purple looking. But we've got quite a bit here I think Took a torch down there yeah we're getting nice and central here so if we worked out we needed 40 pieces of normal cassiterite to make our 1000 units then to hit the uh, I don't even want to say it 9000 units we're gonna need 940s so 360 we need 360 pieces of ore. Now what's that in 16s? We need 22.5 stacks of 16. And these four vessels would give us 12. Sorry, these three vessels, I should say. All right, well, let's fill the three vessels first. <laughs> And then we'll be at about halfway house and we'll see how long that takes. So just to check in now, I think to show you just the state of this place, there's still a ton of it around, I think. In fact, I haven't done a um, prospector's reading in a while. It's still, it's still saying very large around here. I'm, I'm not surprised, to be honest. Like, every direction I, I move in, I'm, I'm uncovering, like, yet another, like, really dense pocket. In fact, look, you can see up on the ceiling here, I haven't even started work on a lot of that. So there's tons of it here. But according to my maths, unless I'm much mistaken, we've sort of got enough to make our bloomery block at least. Look back here. But I'm, I'm semi-tempted to um, just fill up our inventory actually so I'll see you back in the base in just a mo and we are back and looking good and we've got a lot of stuff so I've taken it out of the barrel there let's have a little sleep first I've taken it out of the barrel and um, let's just head back over to our new base and I'll show you what we got 
Okay, yeah. It doesn't look too bad. Like, I think I'm going to be fine with the roof. It actually kind of has made the roof look even cooler, if I'm honest, the big cave-in earlier. So now that we're back, I'm, I'm not so worried about it. So that's full. Here we are. We're going to need more chests. <laughs> Methinks. Okay, we'll just chuck these down here for now. Hey, I really like those chests. They look amazing. We'll get all our tetrahedra into one. That's that's a decent amount. I thought I got some small pieces, but I've obviously left them behind in the barrel somewhere or something. I threw them away. And then, considerite. We filled nearly two vessels. We were just one piece short. So that'll go in this chest up here. And so I do believe... that'll do it so I think that that does it for today so thank you very much for watching what an eventful episode and you know next oh let's pick up those things it's so hard to move like this there we go uh yeah so I think we're starting to, we're starting to feel like quite quite nicely settled in yeah so thank you very much for watching and next time we will get cracking on that triple bloomery and I think things will start to really take shape then and bring on the Iron Age Thanks for watching. Peace.